break and relax and the ball go to the ground. And when your hand's on the floor, I always put my hands a little further out so that you, you can keep your chin on the ball and then you can bring the top of your head towards the floor without worrying about toppling over. Okay? And what I want you to feel is when you're, when you're lowering down the front here, you're using these muscles to lower you down and push you back. Okay? Keep this and relax. Okay? And then when you go down the back, I want you to make sure you land in your toes like a catcher. And drop your hips that deep. You can't try relaxing your hips and going into your outer hips. Okay? Keep your spine nice and relaxed over the ball. This is kind of the opposite of what we've been doing, where everything's just kind of more really relaxed. Yeah, the hips. Yeah. And this is another great way to warm up, Brandon. If you you know, your foot, your hips tight and stuff. Yeah, just so open everything up before you hit it or before you run. And the advantage of doing some of this stuff on the on the stability ball moving versus like doing like static stretching, I think. So just push off. And then this time you're straight your legs out. Take so one long line through here. But really reach your legs back as you're pushing back with your hand. Okay. So just kind of start in that small position. Roll forward slowly, you know. Okay. <laughs> so when you straighten your legs out right, make sure your big toes come together. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you're trying to make a splash with no dive. No. Dive, yeah, like this, point your toes, yeah. and really reach your legs out so you feel your back stretch out like that. You feel that? Yeah. Okay. So just feel that thing, like someone's pulling your legs out of your hips. Good. Beautiful. You feel that? Yeah, I feel that. That's awesome. And your arms, your body, all in one line. Okay. So your ears between your arms. Good. And you want to feel that as you're moving forward and back, there's no movement in your spine. You know, as far forward you're going to go, then you go back. So you're going to come forward to your hips, go over your knees, and then back. So your shoulders don't get too heavy. Okay. Just focus on If you're lengthening out of both ends, see what I'm doing? I'm kind of pulling on both ends of you. Yeah. And that's going to help us. Kind of wake up all those little. Bring your head back and out your body and your shoulders. You get a little more movement in your shoulders. Good. And just focus on these little muscles right here at the bottom of the shoulder. Good. 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 And you can put your hands a little high next so your arm is coming up towards the ceiling. Good. Breathe as you go, guys. Good. Add the reach through, so then when you get to the end of the range, you're going to take your bottom arm, you're going to reach it through, okay. place it on the back of your thigh, and then use that to open up even more. Good. And then come back to it in motion. So nice and long, reach through, push off, and open your arm. 